Hallo und willkommen zurück. Hello and welcome back to part two of the Great Exchange series. This chapter begins while wearing Sunday's best at a church service in none other than, wait for it, the forest. The service included a Catholic singing priest and a Protestant guitar playing pastor. I guess that's how it's done in the forest. Öffne unsere Augen und Herzen für die Zusammenhänge und Verstrickung in unserer Welt dass wir uns immer mehr der vielfältigen Konsequenzen unseres Handelns bewusst werden. Herr, unser Gott, wir bitten dich, Herr. Halleluja. That what you just witnessed was the Thanksgiving service celebrating 10 years of this World Information Centrum here in the forest, celebrating 10 years of this lovely information center of this area. And now we're just having drinks and food here, just having a great time here in the forest. And of course, the animals. More animals. Even more animals. Animals and pictures. Solo animals. Animals carved on wood. Who wants to see a little Fußball? I think it's time we head on to Dortmund and watch Germany play Scotland. Now, I know these Germans just came back from winning their fourth World Cup title, but we can win. We have to win this one for Bonnie, Scotland. Big day for us, Germany, the world meister. Versus Scotland. Here in the Dortmund Stadium. I've even got my uh, curry verse here. You can feel the air, that the vibrations here. It's gonna be a great game, I can sense it. Let's go. This, my friends, is the biggest stadium in all of Germany. And the opening ceremony. Basically, like, we won the World Cup, so be afraid, Scotland. Be very afraid. Now the starting 11 are making their way forward for the ceremonial national anthem for this European Cup qualifiers match. And then, the miracle happened. Germany leading 1-0 from a beautiful volley scored by Müller. Everyone happy, everyone singing. Yes, including me. But then Scotland scored. 
tying the game one to one. But it's all good, cause Germany scored again, you know. And despite late injury from Marco Royce, the World Cup champions were able to pull off yet another win in the Temple of Football, the Dortmund Stadium. Time to get reconnected with nature. I went with my ranger friend Willie into the local forest to collect Feuerholz, or firewood. He also showed me around the different types of trees and the work that is being done to maintain the forest a sustainable environment. Sehr, die halt, wenn du jetzt Licht gibst, diese sind so drei bis fünf Jahre. Ne? Hier, das ist die kleine. Sind, ja, ja, sind die kleinen. Ähm, und da werden sie dann so langsam größer. But Feuerholz can only be used in small pieces. Then, it was my turn to help. I think we were pretty good at it. Here we are in a medieval archaeological site right here, dating back from the 1200s. And it's a special castle, medieval castle, because it has eight sides. Only two castles have eight sides in Germany, apparently. Castles, forests, uh, time to relax and go fishing with my good friend Bennett. Those are real worms, waiting as bait. Honestly, I'm not really good at fishing, so Bennett had to teach me how it's done. And even after a couple of tries, my technique was eh, not in the best shape. <laughs> my friend, on the other hand, caught quite a few fish. Here we are, fishing on the demo. So far, I haven't caught anything. Oh, we may have caught something. I technically caught my first fish, and I was very proud of it. Okay, he actually caught it. That's a fish. <laughs> After fishing, I was able to visit an abandoned mill factory nearby. We müssen mal schauen, dass wir den wieder heile kriegen. Deswegen liegen auch die ganzen Schläuche auf dem Boden, weil die sind sonst immer aufgehängt. gives you an idea of how old this building actually is with the wood right here. Very old. And right next door was the Warburger Beer Factory where my friend Ludwig gave me an exclusive tour. Ludwig's dad is the owner of the Barburger Beer Company, so I think I was in good hands. So we see this machine where the bottles are cleaned, and then they go through a long process where the beer is put into the bottles, and then the final stages of putting the label on, and then putting the bottles into the box, ready for delivery, all in this room. It turns out that the brewery uses natural energy from the river Demol, the same river we fished in. The brewery is powered by 
many waterfall machines such as these. And they have so much energy that it even gives electricity to other houses nearby. Here in Germany, we're always thinking about the ecological factor in mind, and that includes the Warburg Brewery. And this right here, what you're seeing is a fish ladder. Yes, a fish ladder, where fish can go up and down the stream without help, so that they can go from both sides of the dam without any problems here on this arm of the Demo River. After a long day, it was time to say goodbye to my good friend Ludwig. That was so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching part two of the Great Exchange series. Until the next time, my friends. But for now, Auf Wiedersehen. Up next. Wait, German spell October with a K?